Hello everyone and welcome back to Level Update. Lake Powell, one of the most vital water reservoirs in the American Southwest, continues to face a worrying decline. The latest reading, taken on Tuesday, October 7, 2025, shows the lake sitting at an elevation of 3,544.19 feet, a staggering 155.81 feet below full pool. This number alone tells a story of strain and imbalance, but the deeper issue lies in the accelerating loss of water storage over time. Compared to this same period last year, Lake Powell has dropped over 33 feet, marking one of the most significant year-to-year -year decreases in recent history. Over the past 12 months, the chart tells a troubling story. The blue line, once symbolizing a seasonal rise and recovery, has flattened and bent downward, reflecting the lake's slow but steady fall. During the last water year, storage has fallen by more than 32,000 acre-feet, while total outflows from the Glen Canyon Dam have exceeded inflows by nearly the same amount. Simply put, more water is leaving the system than entering it. And though inflows for the new water year are at 63% of the historical October average, it's not enough to reverse the damage already done. Today, Lake Powell is just 27.61% full, containing only a fraction of the water it once held. At this level, the lake is 412 feet deep at the dam, far shallower than it should be for sustainable operation. Hydropower generation, recreation, and the stability of downstream water deliveries all rely on this delicate balance, and right now that balance is tipping dangerously close to failure. The Glen Canyon Dam, designed to manage massive volumes of water for millions of people, faces an increasing risk of becoming less effective if levels continue to fall. The decline isn't just a number on a chart. It's visible in the exposed canyon walls, the widening stretches of dry lake bed, and the marinas struggling to adapt to retreating shorelines. It's a visual reminder of how much has been lost, over the past two decades, Powell has transformed from a thriving reservoir to a warning sign of the limits of water management in the arid west. The stark red message in the report says it clearly. Lake Powell is down 33.46 feet from one year ago. That's not just a data point, it's a signal of crisis. What's particularly concerning is that even with inflows slightly above last year's totals, the releases from the dam continue to surpass what's coming in. This imbalance is unsustainable in the long run. Water experts warn that if this pattern persists, the lake could drop to levels that threaten both the structural safety of the dam's operations and the ability to generate hydroelectric power for the region. Already, Powell is at its low point for the water year, and while that's a normal seasonal pattern, the fact that it's starting from such a low base means there's very little room left to absorb further losses. Behind these statistics lies a sobering truth. Lake Powell was built as a buffer, a water bank for dry years and a stabilizer for the Colorado River system. But now that buffer is rapidly thinning. As total storage drops and capacity shrinks, the safety net it once provided for millions of people across Arizona, Utah, Nevada, and California is slipping away. Even modest fluctuations can now have serious consequences for both upstream and downstream users. In the broader picture, this decline highlights the vulnerability of the Colorado River Basin. The reservoirs that depend on it, including Lake Mead, are closely linked. When Powell Falls, Mead is soon affected. When releases exceed inflows, the system loses stability, and water security across the entire region comes under pressure. If Powell continues to drop through the coming winter, we may be entering another year of historically low levels, bringing renewed threats to power production, irrigation, and municipal water supplies. For decades, Lake Powell has stood as a symbol of human engineering, the ability to harness and control one of the most unpredictable rivers on Earth. But the latest data is a stark reminder that even the strongest structures depend on a resource that cannot be manufactured or replaced. The numbers may fluctuate week to week, but the trend remains clear. The lake is losing more than it's gaining, and the line between manageable and dangerous is getting thinner each year. 
Unless inflows rebound dramatically in the coming months, Lake Powell could continue this downward trajectory well into 2026. The message from this report couldn't be clearer. Water storage is falling, outflows remain high, and the reservoir is struggling to recover. It's a warning to everyone who depends on this lifeline of the West. Lake Powell's decline isn't just a local issue, it's a regional emergency unfolding in real time. One that demands attention, coordination, and action before the water falls too low to come back. As we close this update, the numbers at Lake Powell paint a sobering picture. A reservoir fighting to stay alive in a cycle that seems impossible to reverse. Each foot of water lost isn't just a measurement, it's a signal of strain across the entire Colorado River system. The receding shoreline, the exposed canyons, and the dwindling storage all tell the same story. Time is running out for recovery unless conditions shift dramatically. This isn't the end of the story, but it's a warning chapter, one that reminds us how fragile the balance of water in the West has become. Lake Powell's decline is more than a statistic, it's a reflection of the challenges that lie ahead for every community depending on this water. We'll keep following every rise and fall, every new reading, and every sign of change. Stay tuned, stay informed, and never underestimate the power of a single inch of water, because out here, every drop truly matters.